The Himba tribe is found in northern Namibia in the Kunin region and also on another side of the Kunin River in southern Angola. Also known as Ovahimba, they are a semi-nomadic pastoralist people. Their language is called Oja Himba which is a variety of Herero. The Ovahimba are regarded as the last nomadic people of Namibia. The tribe has been isolated from most modern societies as the people have continued to maintain their traditional lifestyle and culture. They do not subscribe to Western cultures. Origin of the Himba tribe. The word Himba is translated to mean beggar in the Ojaharero language. The origin of the Himba tribe can be traced back to the early 16th century after they crossed the Angolan border. After surviving several disasters and wars, the Ovahimba became refugees in a town called Apuo. They later moved to the border of Angola but soon became victims of kidnapping. They settled in Kaukoland which is now known as the Kunin region. Tradition and Culture of the Himba Tribe Religion The Himba tribe is a monotheistic people. They worship the god Mukuru alongside their clan's ancestors. The people believe that Mukuru only blesses while their ancestors can bless and also curse. Every family has a sacred ancestral fire that is kept by the firekeeper. The latter is the one in charge of communing with the sacred ancestral fire every seven or eight days. This is to communicate with Mukuru and the ancestors on behalf of the family. Traditionally, the Ovahimba believe in witchcraft or black magic also known as Amiti. People tend to believe that death is caused by Amiti. They also believe that evil people use witchcraft to instill bad thoughts in other people or cause unfortunate things to happen to other people. Marriage and childbirth. As part of the tradition of the Ovahimba, their men are allowed to marry more than one wife. However, the marriage is arranged by the father of the bride. They also practice early arranged marriages where young Himba girls marry male partners chosen by their fathers once they reach puberty. However, the practice is illegal in Namibia. Also, it is customary for a boy to be circumcised before puberty. Once the boy takes a wife, he is considered a man while the woman is only considered a woman after childbirth. Before marriage, the bride wealth must be negotiated between the groom's family and the bride's family. Most times, the payment is done with cattle, since the major source of their economy is the rearing of cattle. Before the cattle is accepted, it must appear of high quality. It is also acceptable to offer an ox but it all depends on the groom's father's wealth. Also, when a Himba woman puts to bed, the date is not considered but rather assumed beforehand by the mother. The woman learns a song and teaches her partner alongside other women who would in turn sing the song to her. The song is usually remembered by the villagers and sung till the person's last days. However, it has been argued that the Himba song is just a myth about the Himba people. The Himba women are offered to visitors. Among the Himbas, when a visitor comes to a home, one of the best ways a man can make the guest feel welcomed is to give him his wife for a night. With a population of more than 50,000, this tribe is polygamous in nature and so it is very usual to find an average man having two to three wives. It is from one of these that the man gives to anyone who visits. Interestingly, even those who have one do not fail to extend that gesture of welcome by lending you their partner for a night when you go as a visitor. Known as the Okujepiza Omakazendu treatment, the husband either sleeps in another room or outside of the house while the visitor has a go with his wife. The idea behind this is so as to foster friendship and reduce jealousy. Inheritance. The eldest male usually leads the different clans among the Himba tribe. However, inheritance of wealth does not follow patriclan but matriclan. That is, a son does not inherit his father's wealth but his maternal uncle's. Aside from the inheritance of wealth, moral obligations are also important within the Himba tribal structure. Educational and economic system. Despite the fact that the Himba tribe is isolated, there are quite a few Himba children that attend western schools. Also, some people have left the village to live in towns. As a means of livelihood, the Ovahimba are primarily livestock farmers. For that reason, they count their wealth in the number of cattle they own. However, it is worth of note that women are the ones that perform more labor-intensive work than men. Aside from milk cows and goats, Himba women and girls make clothes and jewels. Himba men are basically hunters. The Himba tribe has a unique hairstyle and clothing. The Ovahimba people wear traditional clothing. The women cover themselves with ojase paste, a mixture of butterfat, and ochre pigment. Those who have given birth attach a small backpack of skin to their traditional outfit with shoes made of cow skin. The men's shoes are made from old car tires. 
As for their hairstyles, the boys wear one braided play from pubescence while girls carry many ojaze textured hair plates which are arranged to veil the girl's face. Newly married women wear an ornate headpiece called arambi. Single men only wear one braided play that extends to the rear of their head while married men wear a cap or head wrap and also unbraided hair beneath the cap. Aside from their traditional attires, the Himba women are not allowed to use water. They are only allowed to apply red ochre on their skin after their daily smoke bath. The women cover themselves with a blanket for a full body wash while the smoke gets trapped underneath it. Their unique red skin is gotten from the ojaze paste applied on their skins. The function of the paste is to protect their skin from the harsh desert sun and also insect bites. Their perception of colors. The Himba tribe has a unique way of seeing color. Research has shown that the Ovahimba use four color names. Zuzu, stands for dark shades of blue, red, green, and purple, Vapa, is white and yellow, Buru, is known as shades of green and blue, while, Dambu, is the other shades of green, red, and brown. It is said that the Ovahimba people have exceptionally sharp vision. This is a result of their cattle rearing which always calls for the need to identify each cow's marking. In conclusion, most of the Himba tribe cultures have been upheld despite Western influence. There are quite a number of traditions and cultures of the Himba tribe that might seem absurd or unique to outsiders. While Western influence has its own disadvantage, it also has a couple of advantages as well. Nevertheless, the Himba people are not the most isolated tribe in the world today.